Hi everybody, it's Rachel from Wrapped by Rachel. I have a little haul here today from Unique Thrift Value Village. It really should have been a bigger haul, but what happened was um, this particular one, half of the store is Value Village and half of the store is Unique Thrift. And they raise money for different charities. So I guess depending on which, um, which specific one somebody donates their things to, that's the charities that things, that things go to. Anyhow, um, I was on the Value Village side. Um, I'd already done my Unique Thrift um, side. And then there was like a little power outage and the power went out for maybe five seconds. But um, apparently when I went over to the cash register to check out, that power outage had kind of blown their um, connection to the credit card servers and I only had seven dollars on me so I picked two of the best things out of my little haul because I was not going to go to the ATM and pay the extra fees and all of that kind of stuff to take stuff out of their ATM but um, I'm just looking at that as God's way of saying you know you can dial it back a little bit <laughs> Anyhow, hopefully those things that I found the last time will be there the next time that I go. But, you know, maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Anyhow, so um, I have some books and some um, really kind of interesting things. So uh, all together between uh, the $7 at the one and um, the $22 at the other, I spent basically $30 um, for all of this stuff that I'm about to show you and let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to move the camera and making sure that I have things in frame. So I didn't really find very many little golden books. I did find a copy um, of The Little Red Hen and this book was originally 59 cents when it first came out and just putting the light on and the um the the images in here are just just as cute and sweet as can be with some you know nice good bright colors and what i like about this one this particular book if i flip to the last couple pages the last couple pages have some vintage advertising for um disney books and that's that's kind of cool okay so putting this to the side then I got a copy. This is um, obviously a religious-based book, The Lord is My Shepherd. And um, this also just has, you know, some really sweet, nice, um, pretty imagery with a lot of um, sheep. And I just think sheep are adorable. And this is originally from 1986. So not super crazy vintage, but vintage enough. And there we go. Um, I am really excited about this one, this particular book. Whoops. Kicking my camera um, is the field guide to birds of Britain from Reader's Digest and it always just kind of fascinates me when I find books like this in the middle of Maryland it's like you know did someone move here from Britain were they moving to Britain did they order this book special I don't know um, but this has some really um, sweet little um, field guide kinds of drawings and they're like a really sort of good size and there's also some actual photos in here as well and so um, who knew that there are green woodpeckers in Britain I didn't know that and look at how gorgeous those birds are so these um, things are gonna be really kind of nice in some journals and adding this to my birds birds field guide stuff all right so I also got this it's the Best Love Nursery Rhymes and Songs with Mother Goose, um, published by Parents Magazine. Karma is coming to check it out. He is um, approving of this book. And um, let's see, this was published in 1974, and it just has really um, like bright colors and kind of interesting pictures and um, I'm just I'm just kind of excited about this so this is really really adorable and um, putting that over to the side okay so those are the only books that I got um, I got a couple of games this um, Parker Brothers the famous card game flinch well I've, I've never played 
Finch before, but um, this was $3 and um, I really kind of like this um, nicely aged little, it's from copyright 1963, um, little instruction book on how to play the game. And what I really liked, I was like, these cards are really cool. They've got kind of this sort of interesting design on them. And um, you know, usually when you get card games, maybe you get to the number 10, occasionally you get something up to the number 12. I'm not sure if it goes past 15 here, but um, that is the biggest reason that I, I got this is because I realized that there were cards that were kind of higher little bit higher numbers than a lot of card games. And I also, as I kind of try to organize this to put this back, I also liked the um, the back of it. So I think that these will be really kind of cute um, ephemera for various journals. And let's just kind of put this back together. And when I'm all done, I'll, I'll use the box also. The box is pretty cool. Okay, so this, this is, um, I thought this was really interesting. It says, Once Upon a Time, the story card um, game. And it was like crazy taped up, and I did my best to take the tape off, but it did um, pull some of the paper, which kind of irritates me, um, especially like right here. Um, but it was taped up like this way and then this way with kind of like a like a painter's tape. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but it was kind of this big, thick, blue painter's tape. And so, you know, I could hear that there was stuff inside and I just, I didn't know if it was gonna be other stuff besides this card game because it, it kind of sounds like there's dice or something in here. Um, so I already took the tape off. This was $3. The actual box itself, kind of lifts out like this. Apparently this game won some awards. And um, what's supposed to be inside is 114 story cards um, and a set of rules. And I guess it's just kind of a creative play game where, you know, maybe on a rainy day or some such, here's um, different kinds of, you know, the instructions on, um, on the different rules. But I think it's just really kind of a, a free form sort of game look at these cards these the the imagery so like this picture right here is the image um, on the box is the image that's on the back of the cards and then you flip these over and they just they're just really look at this little little fairy that is adorable i i love this card right here uh let's see if i can it says transforming it's like magical. I love it. And um, parting ways, things like that. Um, these are just, these are just really amazing. I love this. I love the colors. I love the concept. I love the artwork. I and here's some like other kinds of stories. Um, so they changed places and everything was back to normal. Here's an interesting one. And she kept her father's advice in mind from that day forward. I think that somebody who's a father wrote that as part of the game, you know, like uh, you, you would be listening to me um, and thinking about what I told you. Anyhow, so those are the different um, kinds of cards that are in here and I just, I just think that this is pretty precious. And even though it's sort of sounding like maybe there were dice or you know, there's some things in here. No, it's just cards and they were just rattly and noisy. Um, I was kind of expecting based, I mean, it's almost like if you get a potato chip box. See all that empty space that's inside? This is kind of weird, almost deceptive sort of packaging because I was expecting whatever these cards to be, to be kind of like really big almost like story page kind of cards and they're not there's just that's that's why it's so rattly anyhow putting this to the side and moving forward close up you put you over there okay so um here this was a dollar 99 for these two little things there's this box of the tangrams and da vinci's challenge and i was really kind of you know tangrams are cool 
Um, and this actually is sealed. This is sealed up. So you get actual like little um, tangram pieces and then you get these cards. I don't know what I'll do with the pieces. I'll probably just utilize the actual cards themselves. But this was originally an $8 game and I got both of these things for $2. So that's, you know, that's just a really great deal. All right, putting that to the side. The Da Vinci's Challenges card game, um, the ancient game of secret symbols. How ancient could it be? Uh, you know, based on just when Da Vinci was um, alive. But um, these are cool. I had no idea that these were gonna, kind okay, of little hourglass. These are gonna make some awesome, ooh, star. Um, oh, number 25, which is flower. Um, remember how I was saying that it's not often you get games with, here's number 100, Canon of Man with the kind of classic Da Vinci drawing on here. These are cool. This is pretty amazing. These are gonna make some awesome ephemera and some neato keen bean journals. Putting that to the side, okay. So for $2.99, a little more money than I possibly wanted to spend, but I've um, gotten these before for Rome, these City Walks cards, and there's like 50 different, assuming everything's in here, there's 50 different cards, and what's nice about, like if you're a tourist, I'm just kind of going to pull a couple cards out, you get like a little area of the city, and you get a cute little walking map. And on the back, so this is Kensington, um, and it tells you where you are and the kinds of things that you're gonna see on this little walk. And these just make really cool um, ephemera for different kinds of journals, and they're just really interesting and fun. And I think that that is a great deal for $3. Originally, this is a $15 pack if you bought this. And I know I've seen these like in Barnes & Noble and places like that. Um, this does seem like everything is here. It's just, you know, nice and full. And uh, what a bargain, right? Neat. Those will go good, like in, like, fairy tale journals or stories about England, maybe Paddington Bear, things along those lines. Um, even, like, if I did a Sherlock Holmes-themed book, things along those lines. These will just go really quite nicely. Neat, neat, neat. Okay. Moving along. So next we have this little um, packaged up thing with, um, and you can kind of, like there's like four packs of things in here. I was kind of interested in this three corner flashcard because I'm like three corner flashcard, what is that? Anyhow, everything in here was $3 opening this up. So there's some division flashcards. Um, that, I mean, that's fine, you know, like, I've got lots of these kinds of things, so that, you know, uh, not super interesting, but, you know, hey, it came with, with the deal, and uh, there we go. Uh, go Fish, once again, not super interested in that, unless things are like kind of, you know, pretty decorations. Boring on the one side, kind of childish on the other, but, you know, perhaps I could use these for like, if I did something that was um, like uh, The Little Mermaid or um, uh, even Jonah and the Whale. I think I have like some books for Jonah and the Whale, things along those lines. I could probably use them for that. And I'm not just gonna recycle them or whatever. I will probably use them, but uh, not quite as thrilled about that. Schwarzer Peter, my Austrian Jet Friends Club. So it looks like this is something from maybe like, like if a kid went on a airplane ride and they got this from the, um, the airplane people. I'm trying to open this up. It seems full. Feels like everything is there. There's some kind of logo here on the back. Okay, well. This first card is a little fascinating, sort of a can-can dancer 
That's weird. Um, here's a dachshund carrying a hot dog with a rat on him. All right, these cards are weird. I have no idea that um, the little, oh my God, I'm gonna stick my shiny face in here right now. Okay, one of the things that I tend to do when I'm at work, um, sometimes like just kind of when I'm like being silly, when I used to work at my old hospital, um, if I was kind of like in the weeds, I had a lot of patients, things like that. Um, or if I had to go up to the eighth floor because our office was on the fourth floor and it was always a pain in the butt to go up to the eighth floor to go in or, or a different floor like ICU, things like that, to go and see a patient because my, my old hospital's huge. I mean, it's a huge, huge hospital. So the fourth floor where we worked, um, there were 68, 68 patient rooms. And then sometimes we had patients on other floors. So we were like just really, really busy. And there might only have been like two or three of us working in lactation because I am a lactation consultant um, at the same time. And so anyhow, my point to that, um, and it relates to this card. So you've got the little St. Bernard with a little kind of candy striper sort of outfit taking care of um, this other little, little puppy here. So... If I had to go to a different floor and I just kind of knew like, oh my God, like I might get stuck up there and I might be there for a really long time. I would say to my coworkers, okay, I'm going up to the eighth floor. I'm going to the sixth floor. I'm going to ICU, whatever. And if I'm not back in a half hour, send a St. Bernard, the kind with like a, a whiskey barrel underneath his his neck um, and send, send the St. Bernard's out to come and rescue me if, if, if you, you know, if I'm like trapped under the avalanche. So this kind of makes, this makes me happy on some really weirdo level. Anyhow, all right, moving along, putting my camera back, oops, putting these cards back. So yeah, I'm not sure if you were supposed to do kind of like a matching game or something. Um, this one's kind of cute with like that little black cat. Some of these drawings are a little odd, like that that can can one. Um, but uh, yeah, you know why not? I'll go ahead and use these, um, and uh, I will find some some use for them. And I'm entertained by the the Saint Bernard. Okay, but as I said, the real reason that I got it's like staple like stapled it to there we go. Okay in the trash to the side. This is the reason that I bought that pack for these um, triangle shaped flashcards. And I'm gonna open this up. Um, so this will make some interesting ephemera. So it's for multiplication and division. So if zero, zero, and one. And if you flip this back, Zero, zero, zero. Let me see if I can find one that's like just a little bit more obvious. Hmm. Three corner flashcards help develop number sense, recognize patterns, build facts, strategies, etc. Group cards by strategies. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, so I'm kind of getting it. Okay. So like, for example, 24 divided by six is four. 24 divided by four is six. Six times four is 24. Four times six is 24. And then we have different stuff here on the back. So that's how these work. I have never seen a card like this. This is kind of cool. You know, when my kids were little, I would have used these to, um, you know, do some sort of like homeschool enrichment kinds of stuff. And uh, yeah, these will be kind of cool in journals. Interesting shape, stuff like that. Okay, moving along. Um, these were $1.99. This is some like, it looks like cash register tape and it's kind of aged and old and kind of crappy looking, but um, that's part of what makes this cool. And I'm going to use these for making, um, snippet rolls. So put that to the side. I, I really didn't need four. I would have been happy with just one, 
but for two dollars you know basically 50 cents each that's that's a great deal okay um this is a uh, pack of cards that i got it looks like it's probably all gonna be Christmassy kinds of stuff for $2.99. And that's great because pretty soon I'm gonna start working on a bunch of um, Christmas um, Christmas journals for stocking in my, my Etsy shop. So let's kind of flip through here real quick and see what we've got. We've got like, let it snow, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Santa, oh, there's a couple of them, Santa. And then there's a little tree. Candles, it's actually for birthday, birthday, thinking of you, congrats. Some of these are crap. Um, happy birthday. I kind of like these rainbow chairs. That's sealed in the package. Birthday card, birthday cupcakes, birthday, birthday, dragonfly. I really like this dragonfly envelope that goes with it sailboat here's another version of the cupcake sailboat christmas card christmas card with peppies christmas with the dove christmas with a wolf oh my gosh this is precious look at this adorable little kitten kind of batting at the Christmas ball on the tree, getting naughty and being all rowdy. This is from, apparently from the Humane Society, probably to raise money for the Humane Society. Birthday, warm winter wishes. I like cards like this where it's, you know, winter season and kind of non-denominational. So like you could, you know, send like card like this to anybody, even though we've got like the holly and stuff, it doesn't, you know, punch you in the face with Christmas. Um, oh, a bear. Here's a bunch of cards of the same thing. Merry Christmas with like these sparkles and the balls. One, two, three, four, five, looks like. Here's some a little Christmas dove. Here's some cards that I've I've gotten before that are like for like a, um, like the World Health Organization or some such. These are cute. These little kind of multi-dimensional Santa cards. That's cute. One, two, three of those, and three, one, two, three, four, and then some cards that go with it. Here's. Um, I don't particularly care for that, but, um, I've never seen a card like that before. So there we go. And, um, and then the inside, it's like, I guess he's dropping a water balloon on you. That is awful. Um, here's a, this is a weird card. Why would you have like a cat face on a potted plant plant it doesn't make any sense and it doesn't make any sense even when you you open it up but um maybe i'll just like fussy cut the cats who knows um valentine -y birthday kind of card happy birthday with a pretty matching envelope puppy or puppies Butterflies and dragonflies, Christmas, animals, a lot of cupcake things in here. This must be a card for Halloween. I'm saying this is horrible. Uh, yuck. Why? Don't even know if I can do anything with that. These are like a little kind of card. That's kind of precious. Vintagey feeling. Hallelujah. Olive wood cross flowers from the Holy Land. Oh, these are like actual flowers that are like glued on here. That's kind of cool. Father's Day. Butterfly. Some like little cards. Do, 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 do. Here's another card like in the package. Envelopes, 
bunch of random envelopes. Envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. Some of them are kind of interesting. Some of them aren't. Envelope, 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 envelope. Okay, so that's what that was. Um, I thought it was going to be mostly Christmassy stuff just because of what I was able to see um, within the package, but it's kind of a little um, jumble of different things and still pretty cool and then putting that over here. Okay, coming up towards the end here. So this was $1.99. Looks like a bunch of um, kind of like sequin applique embellishment sewing kinds of um, things. Let's open it up and just kind of see really what's what's in here. One, two, some different kinds of little embellishments. Um, apparently these were a dollar each at Walmart at some point. There's a bunch more. So some duplicates. I'm also kind of digging the back. The, Little card on the back is kind of neat. Um, I like those little sort of like Christmassy stocking, kind of sparkly. And here's like some like sparkly bows. Here's some other sparkly bows. Um, these were from AC Moore and apparently they were $1.59. It looks like in uh, 1997, assuming that this little thing up here says 38.97. So yeah, there we go. Um, I'm gonna open this, this one up next um, because I really don't know what this is. It's, it's like inflexible, um, 2.99 and it said, you know, incredible corn farm to school. And then I'm opening it up. <clears throat> So yeah, it is sealed up. Secretary Joe Barton Felder of Barton Felder Farms grows vegetables, soybean, wheat, and raises poultry in Caroline and Dorchester County, MarylandFarmToSchool.org. And then there's like some like little facts. Let me try to open this up without breaking a fingernail. Now that I have fingernails, Hey, I am I'm putting my shiny face. Hey, did you know that I'm going to be um, a stylist for um, being able to do Color Street fingernails? Um, and I'll be doing a video about that sometime in the future. Um, so really the reason there's just like all kinds of, are these like the same thing? They're all the same thing. That's really bizarre. Okay, so... Maybe these were like supposed to be out, like, I don't even know, like, like some kind of like uh, tourist type place. And then you could pick these up. Let me tell you the reason why I got this, because I wasn't really sure if this was going to be some kind of game or what this was. Um, but um, my plan is eventually to move to Iowa and Iowa grows a lot of corn. So... Um, I can use these in like journals where like, um, you know, the different, uh, where people are eating stuff, if they're, you know, growing vegetables, I can use that or for like Iowa Midwest kinds of things. And, um, I just didn't know what this was and I'm not sure that I would have spent two, three dollars for this if I would have known what it was. Cause there's just a lot of these crazy weirdo corn cards and then there we go. But you know, Hey, I bought it. All right, so, you know, you can't always be winners. Just, this just kind of how it goes. Okay. <laughs> I love that line from Bad Santa. Well, they can't all be winners, can they, kid? All right. So this is the last thing that I got, and I could see what this is. This was $3.99, um, and they look fairly full. The general statement. Um pulling this out. This particular one looks like, I'm not sure if that's, you know, a little bit that's kind of pulled off of here, papermart.com. Um, 
seven and a half gold metallic Christmas tree ribbon. Uh, assuming that it's all here, it's 25 yards. And, you know, as I said, I'm going to be kind of making a lot of stuff to stock my, my Etsy shop. And I thought that this Christmas tree gold ribbon was perfect for being able to do maybe as like closures um, or just page decoration, just random um, ephemera for those journals. Same thing with this other stuff here. So here is some kind of gold and white meshed ribbon. That's gonna work good for Christmassy stuff or you know for other things too. Um, and then there's this kind of interesting, there's, it feels like there's like a wire. Yeah, there is, there's a little bit of wire in here, but this kind of sparkly um, foil-like ribbon. And there we go. So that was my haul from today. And um, so hopefully you all are having a, a good week. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you like videos like this, hit the like button, subscribe. I do haul videos. I do page by page flips. I do cooking related, gardening related stuff. I do a lot of different kinds of stuff here. And soon I'll be doing things about um, kind of doing your fingernails. These are my fingers um, au naturel. Um, and I'm just gonna say that I am, I am 51 years old. Um, yes, this is what 51 looks like. Um, I've, I've had people on here say things like, oh, you have such, you know, such pretty skin. Thank you for um, compliments like that. Um, but um, for 51 years, I viciously bit my fingernails. I would literally bite my fingernails until they would bleed and I would pick at my cuticles until they would bleed. And so if I kind of hold this up here, you see how there's a lot of white? And if I hold my fingernails like this, how barely they are peeking out from the top. That is how far I used to bite my fingernails down. I have stopped biting my fingernails. Thank you, COVID. It's hard to bite your fingernails if you're wearing a mask. It's hard to bite your fingernails if you're wearing gloves at work, if you're wearing PPE at work. But I have finally, after 51 years, my entire life, I have bitten my fingernails. I have stopped biting my fingernails. So coming up soon, I will be doing um, videos about Color Street. I'm hoping within the next um, week or so, I'll be getting my first box, my starter box, um, and I'll do a little um, video of that. Anyhow, thank you so much for um, some of that like little glitter. It feels like it's just in my eye. Glitter is the herpes of the crafting world. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Um, anyhow, so as I was saying, if you like this video, hit the like button. Um, you just never know what's going to come out of my crazy mouth. Um, and commentary as I'm like opening stuff up or, or showing you things. And um, hit the subscribe button. Let me know if there are things that you would like for me to do, things along those lines. And I will see you another time. Thanks so much. Bye.